It's Mia. I don't know if I was recording before or not because my camera just went off. Take three. I had just talked about the price of baskets at Kohl's having been like, I feel like $7.99 or $12.99 for one pretty small basket. And now I see them for $60 and $150 for three packs, $60 for one. And I said, what in the world? I have the Join Honey um, app and extension and it will show me a price comparison that I can't believe the price of baskets has gone up. So I was just talking about having a basket to move my work around during the day before I lock it up um, and moving it from place to place easily and then using that for my braces for my ankle, my wrist, my back, my knee. And so that's really annoying trying to do both because there's not enough room and I was going to look and see if I could use get this gift card from a survey company. They didn't have cash ones. And you use that for um, my, um, what you call it. So I feel really stuck for my uh, brick. Anyways, I should have got two baskets. Okay, let's just say, I was going to buy another basket. Period. That's, that's, what it, that's what it is. I could use something. Well, I can't use, so I don't have anything from the Dollar Tree. I don't want to use a cardboard box. I might actually do it. What do you do when you feel stuck? I have stuff to do. I have work to do. I have I have appointments today. I got to check to see if I'm going to be a patient anywhere today. I need to make an appointment for a blood draw. I need to do some stuff. Cleaning is always an option. Doing my hair is always an option. And relaxing, watching TV for an hour is always an option because I need to sit back, put my foot up, potentially put ice on it, and then do some crafting to help my mental health and then get back to work. And then we have, today's Wednesday, we have some appointments in the evening. And I was trying to visit with this lady, but she didn't respond to my message yesterday, so I don't know what's going on. I'll have to um, contact her via telephone. I keep having appointments, so I'm like not realizing when I say I'm going to try to talk or visit with you. I'm having a hard time. When I look at my calendar, like, ooh, I have some deadlines. I got to get some pictures of me for the um, Oregon Midwifery Council um, new members. I have, um, I should write that I'm licensed, my licensure. So I have to pull up these pictures and try to edit them. I, what I should just do is <laughs> get the pictures on my phone. Why do I feel like I had two pictures? Anyways, I'll do that later. I always say that. I'll do it later. I think it's due today. These people have deadlines. I have to call this other agency that I want to grant from. It's turned into a nightmare. Um, so, what I feel stuck in is... I feel stuck. We were only supposed to be in this place temporarily for six months. And it's been almost two years. It's been about a year and a half, I don't really do the math, and I don't have any other options, and there's options, but I haven't got any leads, we haven't had a plan or discussion, what I think, let's get like prepper, I've done this where I try to do a drill, stay in the house for three days, don't go out, don't buy anything, use what you have, that staying inside for three days used to drive me crazy in Portland. Even though we had like a little yard, there's a highway and a highway exit right behind it. So it is super loud. It kills your ears and it's polluted. It's really bad. It's a yard at least. Playground's noisy. Kids fighting and saying the N-word, blah, blah, blah. So it's not, it's the opposite of peace. <laughs> but um, it's more, at least you have some dirt you can walk around barefoot in. Um, what do you do when you need to declutter because you sense a change or mood. Just the fact that it's getting warmer, 50s lately here and there. Feel that warm. You feel like, oh no, there's going to be bugs around hatching and crawling through the holes that are all over the apartment. Potentially, you don't want to protect. You don't want to attract mice and vermin. There's big holes that could be opossums and rats in there. I'm like, I'm not even playing it. Like, the landlord needs to be doing tinkers and stuff. That's a whole nother story. We're paying a lot of money. We need to be. Anyways, 
my partner said, no, we did have it worse. And we didn't have a regular refrigerator. So, I complain about not having a washer or dryer, but we didn't have a refrigerator supplied with our last one, let alone any kind of kitchen. We had to set up our own burners and dehydrator and teapot and stuff. And everything was washed or fixed with the kitchen sink with no kitchen cabinet. So, trying to use a mini blender with a cord this short while you're it's plugged in over the sink. You're trying not to get electrocuted. You're holding it. There's nowhere to put it. And you're trying to like grab ice cubes and fruit that you have to probably sit on the toilet. Like, I don't know. It just was not sanitary. So I have so many times in my life where I have lived in really poor conditions and been homeless and slept on the ground and slept in tents and homeless shelters. It makes it hard to show the pride you have with where you currently are living by decorating and organizing and not living out of boxes or bags like you're always ready to move oh well this is temporary you know even I go to a hotel for three nights I don't want to put stuff in the dresser like, I'm gonna be going to like, I don't want to leave anything just keep it in the bag like I wish that I could spend that week or a month somewhere I don't care for what you wish for on purpose and have a beach house or something where you do utilize the cabinets, the kitchen cabinets and the dressers and the, put your shoes away in the hall closet and all that stuff. And so just laying everything around, like, oh, well, I'll be out of here in, you know, 60 hours. I don't want to have to deal with the stress. You know, of course, you never know what goes in the drawers. You're going to check the drawers anyway. It's always that fear that something's going to get left or that. I get too comfortable. It's probably the subconscious mind. What do you do when you feel like you're digging yourself out of poverty and you feel like you're not going very far? It just feels like you just keep bottoming out and just again. Oh, here we go. One step forward, two steps back. Two steps forward, one step back. Three steps forward, five steps back. This is like this yo-yo. I have billing to do, I have patients to see, I have lab orders to do, I have stuff for the housing, whether I do send the stuff for the housing or not, something's telling me, don't worry about it, because it's going to be another trap, another stress, another bunch of classes, stuff that's going to take you away from your income, you've been there, done that, and these mandatory programs where you literally got laid off a job because... You had to go to mandatory meetings. And because of low seniority, I was supposed to be closing the daycare center. And I had these mandatory meetings. One was called how to get a job and keep a job. And I lost a job because of that stupid class. Now I'm the only one in there who had a job. So why can't they just say, here's a picture of Mia. She's at work. She's, excuse, <laughs> 130 something apartments and they there was four or five of us who were forced to go to these groups. What about everybody else? Weird. That's my time. Stuff to do.